Auto 2D electrophoresis device fully automates the time-consuming process of 2D electrophoresis. 2D electrophoresis separates proteins first by isoelectric point and second by molecular weight. Traditional workflows require many hands-on steps, are difficult to replicate, and take over 16 hours. Auto 2D electrophoresis is highly reproducible and achieves protein separation in as little as one hour, depending on the program chosen. In this video, I will demonstrate how to use the Auto 2D electrophoresis device in plus mode. First, gather all of the supplies needed to run the Auto 2D device, including the IEF chip, page chip, solution chip plus, electrode chip plus, reagents, ampholyte, and protein sample. Equilibrate the reagents, IEF chip, and page chip to room temperature for 10 minutes before you begin. Next, prepare the working reagents from the stock solutions supplied in the reagent kit. Take one 189 microliter aliquot of the rehydration solution and add 10 microliters of one molar DTT and one to two microliters of ampholyte and mix by vortexing. Select an appropriate ampholyte based on the pH range of the IEF chip being used. Add 760 microliters of equilibration buffer premix to a new 1.5 mil tube, then add 40 microliters of 1 molar DTT and mix by vortexing. Spin both tubes briefly. These are the working rehydration solution and working equilibration buffer. All other solutions needed are provided in the reagent kit. Prepare the protein sample and adjust the loading volume to 13 to 15 microliters with rehydration solution. For more information on sample preparation, refer to the complete user guide online. Turn on the Auto 2D device. The power switch is located on the back of the device. The screen will turn on and display two modes of operation. In this video, we will be using the Auto 2D Plus mode. For information on using the Auto 2D Original mode, please refer to the complete user guide. Touch the Auto 2D Plus button on the screen to launch the application. You can view standard recipes by touching Settings, then Recipes. Touch the recipe information screen and a recipe selection box will appear. Select an appropriate recipe for the pH range of your IEF chip. Touch load to load the recipe. Remove the page chip from packaging, rinse with DI water and dry the outside with a Kim wipe. Remove the plastic cover piece on the cathode side of the chip, taking care not to damage the thin strip of gel beneath the plastic. Then slowly remove the white tape on the anode side of the chip. If the page chip has not equilibrated to room temperature, the white tape may tear during removal. Touch the open button and OK on the screen to open the tray. Set the page chip into the tray with the anode side towards the front. If the page chip is inserted incorrectly, it will not sit flush in the tray. Place the Solution Chip Plus on top of the page chip, oriented with the L on your left and the R on your right. Load reagents into the Solution Chip Plus. First, add cathode buffer to the groove at the cathode side of the page chip. Then apply DI water to the hole in the center of the chip. Next, apply anode buffer to the anode side of the page chip. Apply the working equilibration buffer to the indicated groove, second from the back, 
evenly by sliding your pipette across the groove. Apply the working rehydration buffer to the indicated groove second from the front evenly by sliding your pipette across the groove. Finally, apply the sample to the narrow sample groove by sliding the pipette across the groove. Once all solutions are loaded, set the electrode chip plus on top of the solution chip plus with the triangle toward the front of the chip. Make sure that the electrode chip plus is dry before adding it to the chip assembly and is sitting securely on the solution chip plus. This is an example of an incorrect chip assembly. And this is how the chips look when they are assembled correctly. Next, take out the IEF chip and carefully remove the protective film on the bottom of the chip. The IEF chip should be at room temperature before adding it to the chip assembly. Set the IEF chip into the electrode chip plus slot marked with a white circle. Pay attention to the orientation of the IEF chip. The L should be on your left and the R should be on your right. After assembling the chips, confirm that the orientation of the IEF chip and the solution chip plus are correct and that the electrode chip plus is secure. Touch close to close the tray. Touch the start button and OK and the electrophoresis process will begin. The progress of electrophoresis can be monitored on the touch screen. First, the Auto2D device arm grabs the IEF chip and moves it to the rehydration solution groove to rehydrate the IPG gel. This process takes 3 to 15 minutes. Next, the IEF chip is moved to the sample groove and the sample is loaded into the gel by applying voltage. Sample loading takes 10 to 30 minutes. The IEF chip is then moved to an empty groove to perform the first dimension of electrophoresis in which proteins are separated by their isoelectric points at a high voltage. First dimension separation takes between 17 and 55 minutes. After that, the IEF chip is moved to the equilibration groove to equilibrate the IPG gel before SDS page. Gel equilibration takes less than five minutes. Finally, the IEF chip is moved to make contact with the page gel for the second dimension of electrophoresis in which proteins are separated by their molecular weight. SDS page takes between 30 to 40 minutes. The touch screen will indicate when the electrophoresis process is completed. Touch the open button to open the tray. Remove the IEF chip and electrode chip plus. Rinse the platinum wire with distilled water and gently dry it. Remove the solution chip plus and page chip. Discard remaining solutions as required by your local safety regulations. To open the page chip, insert a metal spatula at each corner of the plastic cassette and twist to crack open. Cut off the gel lip at the anode side of the gel. To help with gel orientation after downstream processing, cut the bottom right corner of the gel. The stacking portion of the gel can also be removed. Proteins are separated from high molecular weight to low molecular weight along the x-axis and acidic to basic along the y-axis. Finally, remove the gel from the cassette and proceed to staining or western blotting. Once there is no longer condensation within the electrophoresis chamber, close the tray by touching close. Touch the menu button on the screen, followed by exit application to return to the launch screen. 
Then touch shut down to shut down the operating system. After the computer is shut down, turn off the power switch on the back of the device.